In this tutorial, we are going to go through subtraction of numbers up to 10 using the number line. Now, if you have never seen a number line before, this is what it looks like. It's a straight line with numbers underneath. Now, I've done mine from number 0 up to 20. It can be numbers up to 10, it can be numbers up to anything. It can even include negative numbers. Now I've printed this off, but you can very easily just draw a straight line with numbers underneath yourself. So let's begin with a nice easy example. What is 6 minus 2? 6 minus 2. Now using the number line, what we do is we take the first number, let's find it on our number line, here it is, it's 6. Let's put a little blue dot here. We are minusing, subtracting. If we are subtracting, we go backwards. If this was a plus sign, we would be going the other way. But because it's minus, we are going to go backwards. 6 minus, how many jumps are we going to make? There's the answer, it's 2. So we're going to jump back 2 times. 1, 2. What does it land on? 4. And that's our answer. And this is how the number line works. We start with the first number, which is at 6. And then, because it's minus, we're going backwards. It's two, so it's two jumps. One, two, and there is our answer, four. It's nice and easy. Let's just change colors, and let's try another example. So what is seven minus four? Seven minus four. Now, the same principle applies. The first number is seven, Let's find 7 on our number line. Here it is. Now, we are minusing, so what do we do? We go backwards. We don't go forwards. If it was plus, we'd go forwards. It's minus. We're going to go backwards. Now, how many jumps are we going to go back? It tells us here, 4 jumps. So we're starting at 7, and we have to make 4 jumps back. One, two, three, four. We started at seven and we have made one, two, three, four jumps back. What number do we land on? Three. And that is our answer. Seven minus four equals three. Right, let's change colors again for one more example. What is 9 minus 6? 9 minus 6. Remember, the same principle applies. What's the first number? It's 9. So let's look up 9 on our number line. Here it is. Let's put a little dot just to remind us. We are minusing, subtracting, so therefore we are going backwards. How many jumps are we going to go back? It tells us here. We're going to go six jumps back. One, two, three, four, five, six. What number do we land on? It is three. Nine minus six equals three. And that is how we subtract numbers up to ten using the number line. In fact, we could even do numbers up to 20 just using this line. Always remember, start with the first number, find it on the number line. Make sure this is either a plus or a minus. Once you've decided what it is, you'll know whether to go forwards or whether to go backwards. How many jumps? It tells you in the second part. It's six. 
Start at 9, go back 6, gives us the answer of 3. And the number line is as simple as that.